Hi guys, welcome to another video. My name is Nanu. I'm a Madagascar artist born in Madagascar. This is a new series that I want to do on my channel. I thought instead of just doing random videos, I would try to do a series finding my style as you can see on the title. My digital art style is pretty much set uh, if you go on my Instagram and let me take this opportunity to invite you to follow me uh, I'm more into minimalistic, flat colors, graphic style but when it comes to other media I don't really know how to use the supplies so here I am trying to find my art style in other media so today is going to be about markers. I have my Ohuhu set, this big one. It's 168 marker set, brush on one end, chisel on the other end. I love it so much. I've already swatched this. If you're curious about this background, it's a reel I did on Instagram. I'm trying to have fun with reversed videos. Check it out. Maybe you'll like it. So in order to do this series, I thought I would just open Pinterest and draw everything that I see there. So I think what I need to do is not to really think about the stuff that I want to study, just trying to find the art and oh, this is nice I'm hoping to fill at least two pages you can see here the birds illustrations that I did the other day so we cannot really draw there oh I forgot to mention I'm also going to use Stedler fine liners I'm usually not into line art, but I'm open to anything since I don't really know how I'm going to draw with markers. I mean, I've done a few videos uh, on this channel already, but I don't really know if I want to stick to that way of coloring, you know what I mean? For you guys to see, I think I'm going to to save all those references on a board on Pinterest and I'll put the link in the description box. Okay, let's get started. I think what I want to do is try with green first because this reference is green. Okay, I really just want to fail first and then see what happens, so let's just dive in. Not even five minutes and I'm already struggling with talking and drawing at the same time. I really like when people don't draw the whole lips, just like suggest that the lips are there, like maybe some lines here and here. And her hair is cleaner than everything I ever cleaned in my life. Okay, I'm already not doing so great uh, I think what I just want to do is to just 
trying to put accent colors on the shadows. I mean, it's not, not bad, but it's also... I should have done a sketch before this. <laughs> My goal is to not spend too much time on each illustration so that I can... Oh, I know what's missing. What can I... Mm, let's use orange. Uh, what did I just say? I don't want to spend too much time on each illustration so that I can focus on the style. I've watched several videos from artists uh, using sketchbooks and stuff like that and I really think Pasca pens would be great. This is too dark. Would be the perfect supply for me. But I do not have that. So... I cannot find the dark green that I want. Uh, let's go for this. It's cute because my cat, when I started this video, my cat was upstairs. Uh, I don't know what he did, but as soon as he <laughs> heard my voice talking to myself, he came down and now he's sitting on the couch. Would be nice to, to have some gradients. How much can I layer on this? You know what's amazing? We can still see the line arts uh, underneath the markers. But that's already too long. On, uh, oh, but what's really great is her outfit. So maybe I should do that before leaving. I mean leaving. Uh, doing another illustration. I feel really silly talking to myself. I mean, I'm talking to the camera, but it's really when I'm by myself, I never, I never really talk to myself. So it's really weird. It's supposed to be a girl. I have these superpowers that turn people in photography into new people in my illustrations. I mean, I guess you could say I don't know how to draw, but <laughs> it's more poetic, you know? Let me just dream. I like it. What do you think? Uh, okay, let's just move on because there's a lot to do. Yeah, this is what I want to do. Uh, focusing on the shadows and then having line arts as outfits. This one is not something I usually go for because it's a full body. And the weird thing is that I'm going to start with the shorts. I know. People must be cringing on this, but it's what I'm comfortable with. And like I said, it's a sketchbook and also it's focusing on how I'm going to color stuff. So I'm not too, too worried about the proportions or the way I draw. I already hate this but I'm gonna keep going I'm hungry so the shoes are so weird but what's even more weird 
is the shoes front view. This I don't know how to I don't know how to draw this. I don't think I left enough room for anything here. And you know what guys? I should have started with the head. I know. I know, I know. You don't have to tell me. You know what? <coughs> Let's just not do the head. Uh, let's just focus on the, the outfit. So she has like some purple and pink. Look, so let's just grab random. Okay, that's perfect. Perfect. So the way I want to do stripes is I think just solid colors by taking in consideration the clothing wrinkles you know what i want to do right now i really want to give up on this but a lesson i learned in the past few months is that the first try is never the best so i'm going to keep doing this until i get better but let me tell you i hate this I really just want to move on but let's just keep doing it because I'm already committed uh, no this should be purple and this should be pink why is this taking so long it's just stripes I mean I kind of like it but I also kind of don't anyway let's move on doing a full body was clearly a mistake that I'm not going to do again. Let's refresh because there's nothing. It's like the second page of Google, you know. These are fun. We probably don't have the same definition of fun, but I wanna try these. What color should I use? Whenever I have to pick yellow, I always tend to to pick this one but it's too dark for now what about sunflower yeah that's fine so on this one I want to try without liners this is a bad idea already Sorry, I went silent, but I don't think you can say much by doing this. It's just a hat. Do you think I can already layer? Ooh, I just got an idea. What if we, we shade the light? I guess you could say cell shading. Not entirely sure how you call that. So for the face, I think I wanna go back to the pink I had before. You know what I want to try? Maybe not having realistic features. Maybe I'm struggling because I'm trying to to draw things that I don't really vibe with. Let's use the broad nib this time. And so hard to have details. Oh, I'm gonna switch to the brush nib because it's so hard. Oh my god, it's bleeding. We'll give a little joker smile to this guy. It's a little bit disgusting. Come on! It's so creepy, but I like it. So maybe that's my style. I'm gonna be the creepy 
illustrator look the shading is already gone maybe i should find another darker yellow this let's try this oh yeah okay now we have to make the the neck and the outfit that is like this like wings can you imagine if wings were in front instead of in the back it would be so hard to do anything i'm kind of liking this in the meantime you guys have to stare at this while i'm working on this so like i said my art is not gonna be line arty because i don't think i want to use line art on this and if i do it's not going to be black oh it's the other guy's hat <laughs> that is why i kind of like it like this so maybe i'm going to embrace that mistake and make it like kind of a, a bow because I, I I don't want to to draw the other guy. I mean, we're here to draw, but I love I love this one so much. I don't want to ruin it. You know, darker pink for the neck. Oh my, that's so much darker. But maybe. Maybe that's what I have to do. Ooh, it should have hair because it's weird. You would think this picture is very simple, but actually the lighting is pretty good. Huh, turned into something unexpected. Maybe I should find an even darker thing for the neck like a plant the first time that's what i should have done does it even look like a neck or kind of like it okay so now what should we do with i kind of want to move on so that's what we're going to do sorry fine liners but you have to go home you were good to me. I'm kind of concerned that this one doesn't layer with this. What if I embrace that? Okay, let's color the shoes with this blue. Ooh, I'm sorry, madam, but your shoes are going to be wonky. I know you put so much effort in trying to look good, but you have to be like this forever this looks so bad mm. you know what they always say looks bad before it looks good well i don't think this one is going to look good in any way oh, no. and i keep <laughs> And I keep coloring the other stuff with the wrong color. <laughs> oh, madam, I'm so sorry. In another life, I'm going to do justice. But for now, you have to look like this. Okay. Maybe what I need to do is to eat before I film any video because that's kind of that's kind of why I don't feel great. Okay, so for the shading we have this and that covers my error there. And then we have this but there's no way I can be I, there's no way I can have 
find my sleeper. Oh no. One success, one failure, success, fail. Okay, moving on. There's no going back with this. It would be good to have different colors for the lips because not everything is in the dark. The thing is, we don't know that, it's, that this is a shadow until we've had all the shadows. So maybe I should continue with that. But right now, it just looks weird. Again, I have this power, superpower of turning a person into another person because this does not look like a reference at all. I mean, we are not here for likeness, so maybe I should have a circle. Maybe that would distract from this super ugly illustration. I kind of like it. I know it sounds very lazy, but it's fast and I feel comfortable about this. So maybe I should embrace this kind of style. <laughs> so dark. Let's take a look on the back side. Huh, it's fine. When I started filming, I said, maybe we'll draw on two pages. But right now, I don't think I will do that. It's super tricky. The thing about some Ohuhu markers is that some of them are super streaky until you put the second layer but the second layer is not necessarily the color you are looking for I did not plan on doing such a dark illustration but here we are when I first had the Ohuhu markers I thought Maybe the right colors will dry out first, but after doing this and liking it, I kind of changed my mind about it. This, this is super satisfying. The cat is snoring. Can you believe that? Okay, I kind of want to move on because I'm taking too much. Now look. It's to be expected. Mm. But all of these are portraits. Well, I mean, why not? Let's do this one. I've never put the cap here. You know what would be great? Like to have uh, the other cap uh, forming the shape of the end of the first cap. You see what I mean? What if we draw the light instead? No. Let's make another shape of face. Uh, like maybe an egg. Is that an egg? It's really weird to talk to myself like this. And then we have... I always use the same color to to shade. What if this time we go like a really different route? Yeah, why not? The cat is snoring. I know I've said this before, but I want to say it again. Okay, it doesn't look like anything right now, but hopefully when I put it together, it will form something hmm so shading here and 
here, maybe here. I think you guys have no idea what I'm talking about right now and I completely understand lips, eyes, eyebrows. I just realized the primary colors. I almost always gravitate towards primary colors because I'm that not good. But this side of the hair should be darker. Sorry, I keep going silent. I, <laughs> I, um, I'm really not used to talking about what I'm doing while doing it, so I guess uh, I should say And now I'm doing the hair I'm trying to suggest that there's a ton of hair without actually doing it, stuff like that I don't know where I'm going with this <laughs> Oh, she has a nice outfit a dress, I guess. I kind of like this. Since this series is called Finding My Style, I think what I want to, to retain from this is the way I'm doing hair like I would love to have just one block of hair like this but the shadows does the job for the rest of the, the illustration I need to find a better way to to do the, the face and also the eyebrows in my opinion should not be the same color as the rest of the joints in the eyes <sighs> instant regret no oh no and she looks like she has a mustache also this doesn't really make sense so much better every time I, I grab another color to make Another dark color, in my opinion, looks so much better. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, one thing I want to incorporate is uh, the highlights on the eyes. Like maybe something like this. Maybe we'll do one more here and look how it quits. I'm sure you guys have seen this reference. I want to do the same skin color, the neck, shoulders, arms. It's kind of like when I'm doing digital. I just black out all the colors, like all the skin colors and then go back with the clothing and face features on top of it I don't worry too much about any details at this point it's super streaky what if we had block of hair like this? would be so bad I just sneezed and I heard my neck cracking what if one day <laughs> the cause of death would be because she sneezed. So I wanna keep that same way of doing the the eyes, like very simple like this. Again, this has nothing to do with the uh, reference, but that's kind of how it goes here. And bottom lips. Ah, 
passion of Thunder Reapers. Bottom leaves, lighter than the... Sorry, was I saying something? Actually, I'm loving this. Uh, not this illustration in particular, but I love doing this series. So if you guys are into watching people struggling, uh, in this case, me, then I invite you to subscribe and to ring the notification bell because I think I'm going to do this once a month and it's not going to be markers every time I'm going to try watercolor, gouache, acrylics and stuff like that this is not going to well so she had a tank top I have to leave you soon because it's time for my cat to eat. I have to feed him. So this is going to be the last drawing. Maybe some of you guys are cringing so much because markers are not supposed to be used like the way I use them right now. Like they are supposed to be blended and I'm not really doing that right now. And I'm sorry. Actually, I'm not. I'm not really sorry because this is how I want to use them. Uh, this marker smells super funky. Doesn't really look good for a last drawing. Uh, you know what? I'm going to be bald and shade with this. Should I? Okay, I'm going. Oh no, I'm regretting. <clears throat> yep. Why did I do this? Oh. Okay, you know what? I'm going to stop this now. I'm going to cover this like this. All in all, I learned a lot today. I think I still want to keep my digital art style, but with markers. And what's good about markers is that you can layer them so that you have more shadows every time. And my favorite today is this one. Also this one, I kind of wish I didn't do this, but oh well. Okay, that's it for today, guys. I didn't really expect anything by doing this, so it's okay if I messed up something. I mean, look at her. If I found my outside yet with markers, maybe not. But you know what we can do? We can practice and practice and practice like I have all of this to find some kind of art style so I'm excited thank you guys for watching today's video I hope I will see you in the next video and it will be next week thank you for watching bye bye y'all